There's a truth every tech channel avoids talking about. To sell the Model 2 at $12,749, Tesla eliminated or replaced critically important technologies. And if you don't understand this, you could become an unwitting guinea pig in the biggest electric vehicle experiment ever conducted. What I'm about to reveal will change how you see the Model 2 forever. These aren't minor compromises. These are fundamental trade-offs that Elon Musk doesn't discuss because they directly impact sales. Here's what keeps me up at night. Tesla is using unproven battery chemistry, experimental motor designs, and cost-cut thermal systems that have never been tested in real-world conditions for more than 18 months. And you, the early buyer in late 2025 or early 2026, could be paying $12,749 to become their test subject. Before mainstream media catches up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, because what you're about to discover, Tesla definitely doesn't want you to know. Battery Technology – The Silver Bullet That Could Explode In Your Face Let me start with what Tesla publicly admits. The Model 2 uses enhanced LFP lithium iron phosphate batteries with 15% higher energy density at 40% lower cost than traditional lithium ion. Sounds perfect, right? Here's what they don't tell you. These enhanced LFP batteries sacrifice cold weather performance. When temperatures drop below 25 degrees Fahrenheit, charging speeds can plummet by 35 to 40 percent. If you live in Michigan, Minnesota, or upstate New York, your fast charging Model 2 could take 45 to 60 minutes to charge in winter instead of the advertised 20 to 25 minutes. But the real concern runs deeper. Independent battery analysts reveal that aggressive fast charging cycles, the kind most EV owners rely on, can reduce LFP battery lifespan by 20 to 25 percent compared to slower charging. Tesla's warranty might cover eight years, but what happens in year nine when your battery capacity drops to 65 percent? You're looking at an $8,000 to $11,000 replacement cost. Now let's talk about what Tesla hasn't officially announced, but industry insiders confirm. Certain Model 2 production batches will use experimental aluminum ion battery cells. Laboratory tests show 310 watt-hours kilogram energy density and 12-minute charging from 10% to 80%. Here's the terrifying part. This technology has never been commercially deployed in automotive applications. Zero real-world data exists beyond 18-month test cycles. Tesla is embedding these batteries in small production batches to gather real-world performance data. Translation? If you buy a Model 2 in the first six months of production, you might unknowingly receive experimental battery technology that hasn't been validated for the full eight-year warranty period. You're not buying a proven product, you're enrolling in Tesla's real-world testing program. Critical question, would you pay $12,749 to test experimental battery technology for Tesla? Comment test subject if this concerns you or early adopter if you're willing to take the risk. Here's a financial reality Tesla won't discuss. Vehicles with unproven battery technology depreciate 25-30% faster than those with established chemistry. Industry analysts tracking EV resale values found that early adoption models with first-generation technology lose value twice as fast as second or third generation models. The Model 2 combines multiple first generation technologies, structural battery packs, enhanced LFP chemistry, and potentially experimental aluminum ion cells. After three years, your $12,749 investment could be worth just $6,500 to $7,200. That's a 43% value loss compared to 25-28% to for proven EV models. The silent compromises nobody talks about. 
Tesla proudly markets their rare earth-free motors as environmental innovation, but here's the performance reality they won't advertise. These motors operate at 90 to 92 percent efficiency compared to 95 to 97 percent for traditional permanent magnet motors using rare earth elements. That seemingly small 5 percent efficiency gap translates into real-world consequences you'll feel every day. Expect 8 to 12 percent slower acceleration and 6 to 9 percent reduced highway range. Tesla advertises 250 miles. In actual highway driving conditions, you're looking at 225 to 230 miles maximum. That's not a minor difference when you're planning road trips or daily commutes. Those cost-saving polymer textiles sound innovative until you live with them. Independent testing reveals they fade and wear 30 to 35 percent faster than conventional automotive materials. If you're in Texas, Arizona, or Nevada, where summer heat routinely exceeds 100 degrees Fahrenheit, expect visible interior degradation in just two to three years. You're paying for a Tesla badge, but receiving economy-grade materials that age like budget vehicles. The premium feel disappears faster than your resale value. Here's where cost-cutting becomes genuinely dangerous. The integrated thermal circuit manages battery cooling, cabin climate, and motor temperatures simultaneously. Sounds efficient, right? Until something fails. One malfunction compromises everything. In extreme weather, whether 105 degrees Fahrenheit desert heat or minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit winter freeze, expect dramatic 15 to 25 percent range loss. Your advertised 250-mile range plummets to just 187 to 212 miles exactly when you need reliability most. Worse yet, repair costs skyrocket. Fixing this integrated system runs $2,500 to $4,200 compared to $800 to $1,200 for traditional separate systems. You're trading upfront savings for expensive long-term repairs. Tesla didn't just cut costs, they shifted risk from company to customer. The Model 2 is their boldest experiment. Can they profit at $12,749 by making you the long-term guinea pig? Knowing these compromises, would you still buy it in late 2025? Comment yes if the price works, no if it's a deal breaker. Next video. Brutal Model 2 comparison against BYD, Toyota, and budget EVs in the $12,000 to $18,000 range. Real specs, actual costs, long-term ownership truth. Hit like if this changed your mind. Share it with anyone considering the Model 2. Subscribe for the comparison video that Tesla fears most. Remember, the cheapest car to buy isn't always the cheapest to own. Click next to see why.